While writing my latest blog post which talks about the 200 plus best ChatGPT prompts, I came across some really effective inputs that you can use in ChatGPT to help you formulate and find the best ChatGPT prompts for any type of content that you're creating. So in today's video, I'll be going over some advanced ChatGPT inputs that you can use to help you formulate the best ChatGPT prompts. So let's go ahead and get started. This is the first input that we'll be taking a look at, which allows you to generate effective prompts using ChatGPT. So you want to tell the AI that you want it to become your prompt creator. Their goal is to help me create the best possible prompts for my needs. The prompt will be used by you, ChatGPT, and you will follow the following process. Your first response will be to ask me what the prompt should be about. I will then provide my answer, but we will need to improve it through continual iterations based on my input. So based upon the prompt that which I want to create, you will then generate two sections. One is going to be a revised prompt and the second is going to be questions. So it's going to ask me any questions related to the prompt to help the AI get more context. Third, we will then continue to iterate this process, um, providing more information until I'm happy with the prompt. So now that you have uh, primed the AI, let's go ahead and enter the prompt in which you're trying to create. For this example, we'll be trying to create a prompt that allows us to write an engaging and witty LinkedIn post that will go viral. So here's the first revision of the prompt in which we get back. Create an engaging and witty LinkedIn post that has the potential to go viral. This post should capture attention, generate interest, and encourage shares and comments. So that's a pretty decent um, prompt, but of course, we want to get a little bit deeper and a little bit more specific because we know the quality of the input that we give these AIs will really um, affect the quality of output in which we get back. So these are some questions that the AI is asking us to get more information to improve the prompt. So we want to go ahead and answer all of these questions. So for example, um, we can just address it by number one. So who is your target audience for this LinkedIn post? So again, let's give it a target audience so that we're getting a more specific output. Okay, so number two, what industry or topic should this post be related to? We can do SEO. Number three, do you have any specific goals or objectives in mind for this post? Increasing brand awareness, driving traffic to a website, promoting a product or service, growing a website. Number four, are there any specific phrases, keywords, or hashtags that you'd like to include? Um, for this, we're going to keep it as no. Number five, how long do you want the post to be? Do you have any preferences on the format? Um, so number five, let's put it to 500 words because I think that's kind of the um, length of a LinkedIn post. So let's go ahead and enter those inputs there and see if we're able to get a much better um, prompt. Okay, so here is our newly revised prompt to create an engaging and witty LinkedIn post targeting entrepreneurs who are interested in SEO and growing their website. The post should be 500 words in length and should offer insights and tips on growing website traffic through SEO. It should also use humor to wit and capture the reader's attention and encourage shares and comments. As you can see, this prompt is a lot better than the first prompt that we're getting, but let's go ahead and continue this process once more to get a little bit more specific and um, a little bit better prompting. So number one, is there a specific tone or style that you would like the post to have? Okay, so let's go ahead and do a playful tone. And number two, are there any examples of similar posts or content that you like that you would like to emulate? We'll just do no for now. Number four, what is the main message or takeaway that you would want the reader to get from this post? And number five, do you have any specific call to actions that you would like to include in this post? So that's a good um, reminder of adding in your call to actions within your content. So let's go ahead and add a call to action for this prompt. Okay, so I've went ahead and answered those questions. And now let's go ahead and take a look at the revised prompt that we got back. So create an engaging and playful LinkedIn post targeting entrepreneurs who are interested in SEO and growing their website. The 500 word post should offer insights and tips on improving website traffic through SEO while incorporating humor and wit to grab the reader's attention. The main message should be to encourage and inspire entrepreneurs to keep working on their website and be patient with their SEO efforts. Finally, the post should end with a call to action to message you to learn more. Okay, so that's a pretty specific and comprehensive prompt that you can use to help you generate a LinkedIn post for um, an audience uh, that's interested in SEO. And there's also some other questions here that you can go a little bit further if you'd like to be even more specific, but I think that this would be a good place to stop. So let's go ahead and actually try this prompt. So here's the final prompt. All I did was add through backlinking because I wanted to add a new concept within this prompt to see how it would do. And here is the output in which we got back. Here, entrepreneurs, are you feeling lost in the vastity of SEO and backlinks? Fear not because ChatGPT 
is here to guide you through the choppy waters of website growth. So you can definitely go ahead and change this with your own name or your branding. Not sure why ChatGPT was there, but other than that, everything is actually really, really well written in this output. First things first, let's get one thing straight. SEO is not a one and done deal. It's a marathon, not a sprint. Now let's talk about backlinks. A backlink is a virtual vote of confidence from another website to yours. Okay, but not all backlinks are created equally. Focus on quality. So how do you get those coveted backlinks? One way is to create high quality content that other websites would like to link to. Another way is to build backlinks is through outreach. Okay, now let's get play for, for a moment. Think of your website as a plant. You can't just plant it and expect it to grow on its own. It needs love and attention to thrive. SEO and backlinks are like the water and sunshine that your website needs to grow big and strong. That's a really, really good metaphor there. Um, you can even start your LinkedIn post from this um, section here and it would be a very captivating um, hook and um, a really, really good post there. But just like plants, websites can be finicky. Sometimes you'll do everything right and still see no results right away so don't give up keep watering and nurturing your website so we can see here that chat gpt has included all of the instructions within that prompt that we selected it um, is focusing on telling people to be encouraged and to have patience but it's also been witty um, and talked about specific things that people can do to help them improve or um, grow their website. So as you can see, using this method, you're really able to get very specific with your prompts, which allows you to get very specific and high quality outputs. So that's the first method in which you can use. If you wanna use this prompt, I'll leave a link for it in the description below this video. I didn't create this prompt, so I don't wanna take credit for it. I did find it on a Discord um, group, so I'll leave a link for that and give credit where credit is due. Now let's go ahead and try a second prompt to help you create other prompts with ChatGPT. Here's the second input that we'll be using on ChatGPT to help us generate better prompts. I want you to act as a prompt engineer. I will present you with various prompts, questions, and scenarios, and you will provide guidance on how to design, develop, and implement effective prompts that align with the user's goals and objectives. Your responses should include tips and best practices for crafting clear and concise prompts that are user-friendly and easy to understand. Additionally, you should provide examples of how to design prompts that are tailored to specific audiences and specific use cases and how to test and evaluate the effectiveness of prompts your responses should be based on current best practices in the field of prompt engineering and should provide clear step-by-step -step instructions okay so we went ahead and kind of primed the ai and it's given us some specific prompts and scenarios or principles that you need to understand about prompt design with these principles in mind let's look at some specific scenarios and how to design effective prompts for them okay so prompts for a sign up form Da da da, prompts for chat box, da da da. Okay, so just giving us a lot of information about specific prompts. So now that we've primed the AI, now let's go ahead and ask it to generate a prompt using these principles. So using these principles above and instructions, evaluate and improve this prompt, which is right and engaging and witty LinkedIn post that will go viral. So this is the same prompt that we created on the last um, example, but let's go ahead and see what the prompt will look like um, using this method. Okay, so first the AI evaluates the current prompt. So it talks about um, what the prompt does well, but it also talks about things in which we can do to improve that prompt. And then it gives us a revised prompt based on these principles and an example of what a new prompt will look like. So write a LinkedIn post that engages your audience and showcases your expertise on a topic that you're passionate about. Use concise and clear language to make the post easy to read and understand. Once you've written the post, share it with your colleagues or friends to gather feedback and refine your approach. So this prompt provides more specific guidance on what the post should be about and what elements to include. It also encourages users to gather feedback and refine their approach, which can help improve the quality and effectiveness of the resulting post. So that's actually a pretty decent method. Method, I would say um, we were able to get a much better prompt but the problem is that you kind of are stuck at this point you maybe could ask it to run this again to improve the prompt um, so that it's a little bit more specific but I like the first method a little bit better because you're able to get really really specific with um, the types of prompt in which you're trying to create but let's go ahead and give this prompt a try Okay, so write a LinkedIn post about SEO and how to grow your website with backlinks and make the post engaging with your audience and showcase your expertise on a topic that you're passionate about. Consider including personal anecdotes or examples to make the post more relatable. Use concise and clear language to make the post easy to read and understandable. Okay, so this is obviously not as good as, a, um, as an input as we got before, but let's go ahead and see 
how the output quality compares to the first prompt. Okay, so this is the output in which we got back using this prompt. As a digital marketer, I'm often asked about the best ways to grow a website's visibility and to attract more traffic. One of the most effective strategies is search engine optimization, which is SEO, in particular, the use of backlinks. So backlinks are links from other websites that point to your site. How do you go about getting backlinks? Da, da, da. Another approach is to reach out to website creators and ask them to link to your content. Building backlinks is just one aspect of SEO. Personally, I've seen the power of backlinks in action and in conclusion. So this is a pretty good LinkedIn post, but I wouldn't say it's as engaging and witty as the first output in which we generated. And I think that's because the prompt was a lot more specific and a lot more effective compared to this prompt. So if I had to choose between one of these methods, I would definitely choose the first method because you can use it for any different types of prompts in which you're trying to create. And you can really create create very powerful prompts using the first method. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that you learned something new and you can actually implement these strategies into um, ChatGPT to help you find and create powerful ChatGPT prompts. As always, I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.